as a vehicle and a medium, technology has just completely changed our curriculum. You know, we have mobile devices being used. We have um, automobile PCs being used in humanities. We've had um, nearly 2,000 PCs at home into the families of our community where we've done online homework. So the nature and the delivery of the curriculum has changed, but also the sort of structural elements of uh, vocational qualifications and also a seven-year curriculum as against a five-year curriculum have changed what we offer in Charland dramatically. Almost annually, we've made a significant change to, to the diet that we offer the children, and it is very much now the diet the kids need, not the diet that we think they ought to have. I suppose a learning gateway is a way of joining people together. It's becoming the glue that stick the different stakeholders within a school community together in ways that quite frankly that hasn't been able to do before. Being able to extend out into the community along more traditional ways, um, to be able to engage learners in more exciting ways with technology that they're familiar with. Really services to students using the Learning Gateway works on many different levels in terms of the student portal where students can go on and log on and find out information at that level of a school in terms of what's happening, events, calendars, we put games on, there's little hooks, really for students to learn basic skills uh, that we would like them like times tables, spellings, that sort of thing. Um, but there are also things like class sites and year sites, subject sites, where students can log on. And really, this is where it gets very exciting in terms of learn using a learning gateway that goes beyond, I suppose, um, exchanging and storing information into actually taking a gateway into the teaching and learning aspect within the school. When we wanted to try and engage students uh, with the learning gateway, we actually went and asked them what they would like to see on the student portal, strangely enough. And amongst all the various sensible su you know, suggestions that they came up with, one of them was games, obviously. And we said, OK, then. Um, and then we thought, OK, how can we actually get the students um, to do basic skills as well, things like um, times tables and spellings uh, and things like that. So we took the two ideas and we kind of put them together and, and, and created little whizzy games, about ten of them, uh, which really were very much aimed at the basic skills. Put them on the gateway and students were actually using them to some extent. And we went back and went, what else? Well, if you just put them in a league table, we'll use them even more. Um, so we, we went away and we, we made this um, uh, league table that we could actually put in with the game. And um, we did it in the summer holidays, ready for when the students would come back in September. Uh, and we put them up on the gateway. And, and this is no exaggeration, within five minutes, um, those league tables were being populated and names were actually coming up. And I think to us that was real um, evidence that students in the middle of the summer holidays were not only going on, you know, using the PCs or laptops or wherever they were to log on, they were logging on to the school portal. They were logging on to their own student portal and playing, you know, matching history pairs in terms of dates. It was quite, quite amazing. We've become a lot slicker in, in terms of the process of um, creating the content. Um, so we will work with teachers, which is quite an unusual idea to actually get the teachers who know what they're talking about and know what they want, to actually come up with the ideas to produce the resources. We had about 15 to 20 teachers from across Sandwell all in the same room together that wouldn't necessarily meet because they were from different parts, uh, working together, storyboarding, um, talking, getting excited about what they were doing, which we then made into content. But I think one of the things that that I think is unique is that teachers I think have relied too much on, on, on ready prepared resources. I know that mo many still do things like PowerPoints and that, but to actually be there and sit and, and, and to create something, it really makes you think about the learning process that um, students have to go through to get to the end part of where you want them to be. So as you're storyboarding you have to make sure of all the different learning styles, all the bits and pieces that goes into it and I think it really does take you back into okay how is this going to make the, the, the student learn more effectively? I've storyboarded content and it's a really satisfying process to actually do, to actually see your ideas that you had and because you can include everything there on the big screen in the classroom that you're actually delivering to students and making a difference with. It is a tool 
Um, it's not about the technology, it's about how it's used in the way that you would use a pencil, in the way that you would use a word processor and it's very much about the people that actually drive this thing and really you're only as limited by your own uh, ideas and vision of what you can do. The Learning Gateway has allowed us to recycle time in a way that I'm not sure any of us appreciated we'd be able to do. We've saved all sorts of time that we used, I think that we wasted and we recycled it back into working with the children and in a number of areas we've seen dramatic levels of increase of, of levels of achievement. We've also seen dramatically different levels of collaboration so we'd, we'd got to a point where actually a lot of staff were working in separate ways and the learning gateways allowed us to work differently with that. And the next part I suppose in the jigsaw is we'd now like to use the learning gateway to get into homes to do more work with families but also to get our links with schools to work better. Um, whilst we've got lots of partnerships, they're not particularly easy to sustain. We actually think the Learning Gateway can allow us to sustain those, um, those links, not just here, uh, both in the UK but also in other parts of the world.